how to become an expert in your construction or trade based business. Now becoming the expert is exactly what you want as a business owner because the expert gets paid the top money. Clients will wait for the expert. Clients want to work with the expert. You'll become the best known in your market. Everything just rolls down from being the expert. You know, think about it like being a doctor. You've got general doctors on an average level, but then you've got the expert that comes in when a, a really difficult operation needs to be done. This is what you want to become as a business because that gives you control in your market. Now, if you don't know me, my name's Dean Barton. And look, just like these videos, I'm deliberately posting these videos to become known as an expert in my little niche because I'm actively buying businesses today. So I post a lot of help and advice to help you grow because I want to be known for it. And it's the same stuff that I'm going to talk through with you guys now. Becoming an expert, you've got to look at it this way and go, well, this is you. Do my nice little drawing of you. You probably look something like this. You're this guy. Now, you have got a lot of things going on every day in your head. You are getting pulled in every different direction as a business owner. And depending on what stage you're at, you're going to have your mind spread on hundreds of different things throughout the day. You could have 2% of your brain working on, right, I've got to be pricing. 5% of your brain going on marketing. 2% of your brain thinking of new opportunities. 10% on your current staff. And then ideas. 50% of your brain could be on that. You know, entrepreneurs, we've got a brain that works overtime. We see something working, we go, I could do that, we could do that better, we could do more of this. You start thinking about other businesses. And before you know it, your brain is being pulled in all different directions. You've got the missus at home, you've got 5% on the kids and the missus. And you've got people that want to meet you for a coffee that don't add any value to where you want to go. Like, how do you become good at things when you're just juggling all the time. And maybe you're doing all different types of work right now as well. Like one minute you're doing kitchens, the next you're doing extensions, then, then you're doing bathrooms or whatever it is, right? And you just become, you end up becoming a, a, a scatterbrain, just all different things. So what you actually need to do to become the expert is actually saying no to a lot of stuff. Actually having clear guidelines of no. So a lot of ideas, you have to become very good at saying no to them, being hell-bent and focused on becoming the expert in whatever it is you do. So if you are a main contractor, you need to become the expert at the main contractor. So you build luxury homes, for example. You need to just do everything built around, you are the expert at building luxury homes. If you are a plumber, for example, you need to be known for being the expert plumbers. The moment you see a plumber start then fitting fitted furniture or doing roofs or doing scaffolding and you know it all happens i see it all the time in the industry people are doing everything because i see it as a quick win you have to say no to things and just be exceptional at what you do because the minute you say no and the minute you get a structure at home as well when you say to them this is right your job is to look after the kids or whatever setup you've got i'm not being chauvinistic i'm just being whatever you're gonna say no to things and set structures up and go right i'm handling the business I am running the business. I need to get us to a point of where we need to be. And what it's going to take is saying no to a lot of things and actually having guidelines and going, right, what I need to spend most of my time doing, 90% of the time, is driving us forward as the experts and only focusing everything on that one thing you do. So if you are that luxury home builder, all your marketing efforts, all your case studies, all your testimonials, all of your opportunities and relationships you are building is all around you becoming that luxury home builder, or it's all around you becoming the best plumber in your area, or the best electrical company in your area. You know, you focus and you hone in on one thing, and you have to say no to a lot of shit. You have to clear time and clear brain power to allow you to have the space and the brain power and the, and the mental capacity to become the expert in what you do. Now, the good thing with this stuff is that once you just get clear on that, what you want to be, you get perfectly clear, this is who you want to be, you want to be the experts in this, this particular trade or particular thing that we do. Only when you get to that point can you then start stacking wins up. Because once you start saying no to stuff, you can start saying yes to the right things. We'll make this nice and clear. 
not ideal with the pen, but it will do. Because the minute you just keep doing one thing, you focus purely on that one thing. Like we are the boys at this. We are the experts at this one thing. You start stacking those things up. And what you don't see is the compounding effect over time. Is that this is actually what progress looks like. You build one luxury home, you build another luxury home, you build another luxury home, or you do one boiler replacement, one boiler replacement, one boiler replacement. You don't look like you're getting any, anywhere. But what happens in business is the longer that you do things for, and the longer that you stay focused on doing that one thing, what happens is the compound growth. And you start taking bigger leaps and bigger jumps because the market, your brand is being built, your reputation is being built, your reviews, testimonials, and just goodwill of relationships that you've built over time, before you know it, you start getting growth that just starts going a bit mental. And before you know it, it's this upward trajectory of growth that you don't see. That before you know it, more and more opportunities come in because you're getting more positioned as the expert. So being the expert is actually just staying true to the one path that you want to build a business around and being persistent and being hell bent on this is what we do, end of, and you stack it over and over again, because then what happens is, you start getting into this growth curve that comes, it actually gets a little bit out of control, that you can't stop it, the inquiries keep coming in, the work demand keeps coming in, you start building a really good reputation for yourself, you are the expert, but when you start getting to this point, other experts want to hang around with you, and you start building relationships with other experts, so your network and your group grows because you're getting traction, when you're a one-man band or when you're just a, a jack of all trades and you're doing everything on your own, you don't get a good reputation. So other high performers, other industry leaders don't want to hang around you. Whereas when you start getting really good growth and you start getting really good traction, people go, blimey, they're doing well, they're doing good. I see them everywhere. They're great. I see him everywhere. He's, he's doing amazing. You then start building better relationships with other experts around you, which then means is you in the middle and you start building a network and a massive, really good like board of directors around you of high influential other people who are experts as well on the same level as you. And then you plug that into that resource that you've got. You've got a great phone book. Then you, keep, you go even higher than this and you go up and up and up. And that's how you become an expert. It starts with being laser, being focused and persistent on being an expert in one thing that you want to be known for. And doing that over time and stacking those results, marketing those results, putting your brand out there, becoming the best known, and then let the compounding effects of growth do its work for you. So I hope that's helped and I hope that's made it clear for you guys what you need to sort of brush up on to become the expert in your area. It takes time, takes work, it takes perseverance, it takes a lot of things, and that's what entrepreneurship is. It takes a lot of things that people don't talk about. So if you'd like more free help, there is a link below this video for 30 days of free business mentorship Straight up, really good, decent, honest advice to help you grow and move forward. Check it out, click the link, and I'll see you in the next video.